falling asleep on the couch. And uh, when she came out, she kept saying, are you all right? Are, are you okay? You know, I didn't know what she was referring to. And she said I was moaning. And uh, to this day, I, I don't know what she heard or, or why she came out, but thank God she did. <laughs> The nurses, they never left him. He always had somebody there and they checked him like every 15 minutes to the assessments. And then Dr. Curley did get there very quickly and thoughtfully decided to give him the TPA because of the, the time frame. Um, and I, yeah, Saturday and Sunday were pretty rough. And I ran home Monday morning to take a shower and thinking, boy, I hope he gets better. And I got back to the hospital and he was actually talking. And I thought, oh, oh my, it was such a change. I mean, he, of course, still had a long way to go, but I knew then that he was on the road to recovery. Speech took the longest, I guess. It was, I, mean, I, I don't know how to explain it, but... Um, Laura would, uh, she, she would challenge me with, uh, I'm thinking of a word that starts with a W that uh, you, you used to do. You know, work? Yeah, work, yeah, that's it. And, you know, just things like that. And it, it was, uh, I don't know how many times the first few sessions, I, I just say, I don't know, I, I don't know. And, uh, I didn't know. <laughs> it was just, I couldn't come up with anything. He had a very difficult time discussing and describing things that were very complex at all. There was no way he could have done things he had done in his past as a pharmacy director. He couldn't have explained the, the risks and benefits of a prescription that he was giving out to someone. And he really couldn't even come into therapy and talk to me about an event that had just happened at home. And really, we think of that as a pretty basic thing that someone should be able to do. That was frustrating, very frustrating. It, uh, I, I found myself not talking or not trying to talk to people, you know. There were a couple of things that got him through that. First of all, Joe worked really, really hard. He came into therapy every day with homework completed where he really was able to work on discussing and describing, defining and explaining things at a high level. And then we could come back in and I could have him work on making some of those things a little bit better and then figuring out how to step up what he was doing at home so that he could keep getting better and better. And the other thing that really helped him get through that is to try to figure out if there was a person that Joe might be able to talk to that had been through something similar that, who was also similar to him and professional background and goals of wanting to get back to some of the same things. And we were able to find a good match for Joe so that he could talk to someone about how, what a struggle it was to go through this, but Joe could also then see that there was such potential for him to get back to the life that he really wanted to lead. Lake Regional is, uh, is a great place. They're small enough to be personal yet large enough to be professional. Right there. Uh, they, they just do great work. You can't say enough.